Welcome back to the DIY Sisters. I'm Cassie and this week we're back in my Louisiana cottage and we're decorating for Christmas. Okay, I feel very scattered. Went to thrift stores all the time. I'm like, do I just get two? Do I get all three? I'm Caitlin. And I'm Kathy. And we're the DIY Sisters. So my inspiration for my Christmas decorations this year was to do a medieval primitive Christmas. So what does that entail? Lots of iron, lots of greenery, lots of wood, and th just think old school fireplace with a large hearth and lots of things to cook around and lots of greenery and beautiful deep colors. All my inspiration came from that. You can see my Pinterest board and I had so much fun collecting everything. Everything that I purchased for these Christmas decorations is from the thrift store or from Dollar Tree. I, there's very few amount of things that I purchased that were new and I'll let you know what they are as we go. But um, I just kind of went into my thrift stores fairly often <laughs> to find as much greenery as possible. I have no Christmas decorations here, so I just collected what I needed for to make this vision come true. For the fireplace, I wanted it to feel like an old cottage primitive hearth, right? Something that you cooked around, something that um, looked like it could be in a movie set, right? From, you know, Ga if Game of Thrones had Christmas, let's just say that. <laughs> so I knew I wanted to find a pot and I knew I wanted to create a fire. So the fireplace I have, is not technically a working fireplace. I knew I wanted to give like a fake fire look. So I ordered these lights from Amazon and they came out really well. So I'm in my parents' old pump house. Oh, hi kitty. <laughs> and I was looking for a wooden bucket, but instead I found this perfect old cast iron pot that looks like it was at one point a part of Christmas. And this adorable, some kind of decanter. But like, how amazing is this? <laughs> okay, let's move on to the DIYs. The first DIY I did were these plates. So I just had this vision in my head. I didn't see it anywhere, but I just thought about, what if I had like an old school Christmas carol stuck between two glass plates and then connecting them and the edges and make it look like gold leaf. And I was like, is that possible? <laughs>
that's so cool. Um, I FaceTimed my sister, Caitlin, and she was like, you made that? And I, that's always the best reaction, I think, to a DIY. The chargers were really simple. I just wanted to spray paint them a hammered iron look. So they were just like a beautiful base for the gold plates. I got these for 50 cents, by the way, each. The next DIY I did was this reindeer bell thing. I don't even know what you call that, but I saw it in a Pinterest picture and I was like, I can make that. So I found the bells at a thrift store for $2, spray painted them the same hammered iron color. And then hot glued them onto a belt that I got from a thrift store for a dollar. Yes, this is what I'm going for. <laughs> we'll see. So it was really easy to do and really cute. The last sort of big DIY project I did were these banners. So I wanted to use banners on either side of the fireplace to give it that medieval look. Um, and so my goal was just to gather fabric from thrift stores and put something together that looked interesting. So I found this beautiful fabric from a thrift store that I really loved. And then I found these like uh, these place settings from a thrift store as well that had that deep maroon color. So I really like this fabric, but this is all I have of it. Okay, it's not a ton, but I think it's enough to do what we want. So I wanna create two different banners. So basically I need to cut this in half. You can kind of see the vision. It'll look like this. And so it should be quite long, which will be good. Together, but um, unfortunately it looked a little bit like Gryffindor so I nixed the ideas I also found something else to put on the sides of the fireplace so I nixed that idea and instead used it as a runner over the the table and I think it came out well it is not my favorite thing I've ever done you know I used the ribbon around the edges from the Dollar Tree. And it's not like my favorite thing in the world, but it adds texture and it does give you a medieval vibe. And I'm glad I didn't put them on either side of the fireplace because I love the way the fireplace turned out, so. Oh, hello. Good morning. Today is install day. Uh, so you see a bunch of all this stuff and I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna use it for. So this is gonna go inside of the fireplace and I'm gonna use these little guys to attach it to the wall. So it's gonna go in like that. I need to cut it down and then install it there um, and spray paint it. And then this wooden dowel is going underneath here and things are gonna hang on that. So today is mostly, a, I gotta spray paint a ton of stuff. I need to just kind of install all this like hardware type of thing and then try to finish up some DIYs um, and hopefully um, get started on putting up the greenery, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, but that's the plan. So let's start measuring and cutting and spray painting.
I got this spoon for $1.59. Then for one of the caps, we just cut it down so that the pipe could go into it, if that makes sense. Yeah. This was smart. My dad helped me with this, of course. Oh. And um, it worked perfectly. It held lots of weight. It's it's not a problem. So this should do it, huh? The hook that I'm using is actually a shower hook <laughs> that I'm, I use, I have them all over my house. Wow. You'd be surprised what you can use shower out. hooks for. And I think it looks fantastic. Like it, it, it looks like the old school ones do. And exactly what I wanted was like this iron bar, it shouldn't be like the showcase of the place. It kind of blends into the background of the black fireplace, right? So th that's the idea. You just want your pot to be hanging on something. So um, I thought this was a really smart and inexpensive way to do things. My dad already had the pipe just at his house. Like it was just like spare pipe, but I'm pretty sure if you buy this, it's not very expensive. Step one of witchiness, medieval Christmas complete. The next construction hurdle to figure out was an iron bar to go underneath the mantle. And then I got four C-shaped hooks uh, to put up into the mantle. I spray painted those as well and used pilot holes, screwed the uh, C hooks in, and then put the dowels through the hooks. Okay, so I just installed one of the beams. The other one is outside drying and then tomorrow I'll cut it and put it together and they'll like connect right here in the middle. But I think it looks really good. Like it looks, I might keep it cause it looks kind of cool. Like it, it adds an interesting element to the fireplace. I think it looks like iron as well. Like I, you know, I think it's going to be really neat. I have, this is something that's going to hang on there. Like, look how cool. Ah, exciting. I hot glued the two towel dowels together where they met and, and made sure like the place where the, the two dowels were meeting were on a hook so that it could also have support there. And I also didn't put a whole lot of weight on that side of the mantle. So the things that are hanging from that side are much lighter. Um, so, it came out incredibly well. I'm actually obsessed with the way that it looks and like everything hangs perfectly. It's very easy, no problems. It, that worked perfectly. And I think it really looks like an iron bar. Like that's the coolest part. Oh, hello. I thought I would deal with this hot mess. Um, I've been working on it all week with all the DIYs. So it's filled with hot glue and all sorts of stuff. So we're gonna, I'm gonna clean it up and then we're gonna start setting the table and playing around with the table setting. Voila. Okay, so I've got a few things. Um, I ordered this from Amazon. It's a large maroon burgundy uh, thing because I just couldn't find anything like this at thrift stores. And so that was this many dollars. I don't know exactly. I found this at the thrift store yesterday. It's a round green tablecloth for a dollar. And I found this at a thrift store as well. This is just a piece of fabric, so I'm not sure if I'll even be able to use it. Uh, but I like the houndstooth warmth that it gives. So let's play around with this. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, well, I know how I feel about it. I, I don't love it. So I, um, yeah. I'm not happy right now, so I don't know. It doesn't look, I mean, I know greenery is gonna help, but I really wanted this swoopy look and I'm starting to feel like you have to order it that way. Like, I kind of thought I could just drape fabric, but now I'm realizing like this fabric doesn't want to be draped. Ugh. I added the plates and my little brass cups and a centerpiece, but I think it's fine, I guess, but I don't know. All right, so I picked this up for a dollar at um, Salvation Army. So I think I'm gonna put some like flowers. I think these are nice. They kind of look like grapes, which is fun. 
Um, and then for on top of the plates, I don't know if you can see, I have these like these little cherry things or cranberries. I don't really know what they're supposed to be, but they look holiday uh, from Salvation Army for $1.99. So I'm just gonna like basically tie them together with these little uh, branches. So I got this from the Dollar Tree. And so I'm just taking off the green part and I'm going to tie them together. So let's do it. So I'm just gonna have the greenery there and then the little guys like that. I picked up these goblets at um, a thrift antique store in a little town nearby. It says $4 each, but they actually gave it to me all four for $10, which I thought was like, A, I didn't even ask for it. They just did it, and I thought these were fantastic. Okay, I picked up this centerpiece at the thrift store for $3 at a local thrift store, and I think this is so fun. But you still have a pine cone in there, you have some like fruit, and it feels really wild. This for half off of one seventy nine. So you can do the math on that one. So then my mom came over and we put up greenery together and the place was starting to look magical. I put up everything on the fireplace and I don't know, it all started to come together. Lots to do. I'm looking around at a hot mess in my house. I gotta finish some stuff. You know, I got things to do. We got projects to finish. So last night I put up um, a few things. The next thing we're gonna do is put up the wood panels that I got of the lion. So let's go do that. I got these command strips and my plan is just to command strip them onto the wall. So let's try it. So regal. There's one. Don't forget I got these for $10 a piece. I think they look really cool. I got this basket at the thrift store for $3. I have this firewood that we're gonna place inside the fireplace and then also some in this little bucket. And I got this bucket and the little popcorn guy over here for $10 for both of them, which is wild. <laughs> All right, the first thing I'm doing is taking the lights off because this is not a real wood burning fireplace. Well, it is, but like, it's dangerous these days. So, plug this in. It's like I need to cover the lights, but also you need to see the flame. <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, try something else. Back here, it looks legit, you know? What we have so far, I think it looks good, but I think it's missing something in the center. I, I'm loving it, honestly. I think I could do a few more little touches here and there, but it's overall what I was going for.
Let's check out the final reveal of everything. Thanks for sticking around to the end. What did you think of this makeover? Would you do medieval primitive Christmas in your own house? Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have so many more videos coming for you. We put out new videos every single Wednesday. I'm Cassie. Merry Christmas.